So, hello to another vlog, and um, we're walking around Elgin, mm. the historic town of Elgin today. Mm. We've just come from uh, Elgin Cathedral, haven't we? We have. Where again, you can't fly drones because it's within the Lossiemouth RAF radius. That's right. So, uh, so the drone hasn't come out today. But we're going to go in search of Thunderton House, aren't we? Are we? This is claimed as the house that Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie. He wasn't Bonnie. Bonnie it Prince, was Charlie Charlie Prince Charlie stayed here 11 days before the Battle of Culloden. All oh, right. So it's got quite a bit of ancient history. Culloden's not far from there. Yeah. Here, and we're hoping to visit there, aren't we? Yes. So we'll just turn it around now and you can have a look at uh, Elgin High Street. Here we go. So, Bonnie Prince Charlie, what do we know about him? Now you're the uh, historian, you give us some uh, mismatch. Well, I know the Battle of Culloden was the very last um, battle. No, it was the very last battle mm. where the uh, Scottish were well and truly slaughtered. defeated and slaughtered yeah. you were, you were. and uh, the British sure, took yeah. out retribution upon the Scots yeah. and they went around towns and villages they've got a lot to be um, and they slaughtered people for, you know a bit like the, um, the Russians in um, with Ukraine Ukraine yeah well the British did that to Scotland yeah they went round the villages and they slaughtered entire villages. Yeah. The British have got a lot to be... I've just said, accountable for. Yeah. It Wouldn't it still be war crimes? Yeah, it would. Yeah. It would be war crimes if it oh, happened today. Because so. they, they were never held to account, were they? No. So, the final battle for independence, Scottish independence, ended at Culloden. Now look at this wonderful With structure. the defeat of Bonnie Prince Charlie. Mm -hmm. Who actually stayed here, like you said. Thunderton House. Uh, at Thunderton House. Thunderton House. Yeah. But Eleven days before Culloden took place. Before Culloden yeah. took place. Trying to see which street it's on. You're the researcher. And you're the historian. Oh, this the wonderful historian. building here, these are like, this is like the buildings in Glasgow. Yeah. It says it's got some really historic It's more like a it feels like sites, a city. Yeah. Elgin. It's not though, it's a town. No, but it's got a but cathedral. It's got a city feel. And yeah. look at this. Ooh. Look at this marvellous sculpture oh, here. Isn't it? Opened by RHS, the Princess Until Royal. 2017? In March? Castle Cathedral to Kashmir Heritage Experience. Of course. They've still got a Kashmir Mill here. Yes. Woven cashmere garments. That's a marvellous sculpture, isn't it? Does one know that, Phil? I don't know, but I'm enjoying the sculpture at the moment. It is a lovely sculpture. Look at the boy tapping a tin pan. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? And the expression on his face there. Mm. Not lovely. I love the dog. A little Scotty dog. Sweet. That's marvellous, that is. A town of closes. Castle. Very historic place this is. If you want to uh, discover something about the history of Scotland, come to Elgin. You're bound to, to find lots of stuff here. It's such a, absolutely seeped in history and, and culture here. In fact, everywhere you go in Scotland's like this, isn't it, Kath? It is. I'm just trying to find where Thunderton House is. Yeah. Um, well, let's wander around. Let's have a look. I'm not getting signal at the moment. We're that bound to find it. Yeah, on first impressions, Elgin doesn't look much because all you see is the outer road and it just looks like any other town 
you know where you have a little ring road going around and stuff like that but you, you need to get out of the car and, and have a look around and you'll be amazed at what you see and find so much is historic buildings here I love the place If you want to go on a track of discovery, this is the way to do it. Don't research too much about the place, just get out and have a look around. Okay, this is called the Castle on the Hill. So you can see that just here. And it's the place where King Duncan I died after his bruising encounter with Macbeth. King Duncan died after his bruising encounter with Macbeth. Shakespeare. Mm. So, there you go. Shakespearean in origin. The Duke of Gordon Memorial, which it is, the Duke of Gordon it represents. It doesn't represent Macbeth or Banque. King Duncan <laughs> or Banquo. But Ferrers has got links to um, Macbeth as well. All of this area yeah. around here has links to Macbeth because that's one of the reasons to go tomorrow it is so we're going up to Elgin Castle the castle on the hill the ruin of a castle the strong early Scottish kings were mentioned in this charter of Malcolm the 4th 1160 so we're going to go up and see what routes these have to Macbeth. If you know your Shakespeare, do you know Shakespeare? If you know Shakespeare, you will know Macbeth very well. The story of Macbeth. I'm not going to tell it to you now. <laughs> But if you'd like to know more about Macbeth, then my hometown of Prescott in Lancashire will be showing Macbeth this September 
at the Shakespeare North Playhouse and I'll leave, leave a link on this video sorry I'm climbing steps now which are quite steep so I'm getting, getting a bit out of breath hang on let's have a rest here and get a view around the town which is quite nice Again, we can't fly drones around Elgin because it falls into the uh, flight path of uh, RAF Lossy Mouth. Whew, that was a tough climb. More notice boards. Very historic town and royal residency. Oh. Worth coming up just to the view, and here is the monument. Uh, that Lord, or whatever his name is, not Duncan or Macbeth or William Shakespeare, but this is where it said Macbeth slayed Duncan. Apparently, so I don't know, do you think we could climb it? <laughs> it's got an inscription here. The Duke of Gordon. Memory of George, the last Duke of Gordon. The Duke of Gordon. Tradition has it that on the stroke of midnight the duke descends from the column to have a drink from Mary nearby Merrywell. Hello Dukey! Stop <laughs> sneaking down off that column. <laughs> it is. Isn't it just? Oh. So we'll just do an end thing to camera. I'm just taking a photo, so just give me a minute. <laughs> I'm still taking photos, Phil. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed this little look around Elgin. It's just a little video. And the Duke of York. Yeah. The Duke, what's his name? The Grand Old Duke of York, Gordon. <laughs> the Duke of Gordon is looking down upon us. God, yeah, it's going so for height. A crafty, a crafty drink. A wee dram. A wee dram. If, if well. you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, like, and describe. And describe. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're tired. And, and subscribe, share. like. And press the bell for notifications for more vlogs like this. If you like to see more of these videos, tell us. I don't know where that accent comes from. I don't know, it just comes into play when I'm in Scotland, who knows? You've got many different personalities, haven't you, Kathy? No, just the Lancashire one, <laughs> Phil. I get it from you. See you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. remnants of an old castle here and that's why it's called the castle on the hill
there's a Tesco's. You're never alone when you've got a Tesco's. <laughs> You're never alone when you've got a shoe and a phone. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and if people don't know that reference, they haven't watched Fall, oh. the film. Yeah. Which will keep you on the edge of your seat for a long, Brilliant long time. Film. Best film of 2022. Best film we've seen oh. for a long time. We just watched it last night here, didn't we? Fall. Yeah. Watch Enjoy it on Netflix. It's great. Anyway. Look at that big is. I know. Oh, I'm in there later. We can go and get our whiskey, can't we? No, we get that from the distillery. Get it cheaper in Tesco's. No, you wouldn't. You, you would. just put the money on. You get the blended Dale stuff. Marco. No, I'm not having that rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not having that rubbish. Oh, Lovely monuments. Did he have a hat at one time? No. I don't think so. He could do with an hat, couldn't he? Mm.